what's up youtube wagwan it's a girl marcy once more in the kitchen and my husband requests pineapple upside down cake for the longest while and i finally decided to make it after all it's the perfect time mother's day is coming up and you i know a lot of you are going to be treating your mothers you're going to be cooking for them and stuff like that so i want to share this recipe with you so to my new subscribers welcome to my channel don't leave without hitting that red subscribe button and don't forget to turn your notification bell on so that you can be notified whenever i do a new video all right and to my returning subscribers welcome back i appreciate every single one of you all right so let's get baking guys so right here I have one third cup of soft butter. I am going to place it in the bottom of my pan. You can, um, whenever you place this in the bottom of your pan, it's going to rise up to the side. So you don't necessarily have to grease the pan. But if you want to be on the safe side, you can go ahead and spray this pan with some cooking spray. Now I'm going to add about four tablespoons of brown sugar on top of my butter. And this is going to caramelize and give you a nice um, caramelized pineapple on the top. All right. So... Um, I'm also gonna be placing some pineapples. You can use the fresh pineapples if you want, but I'm gonna be using the Dole's pineapple slices. I'm gonna open the can, pour my pineapple juice out because we're gonna need that for our mixture. So I'm also baking a cake for someone. So you're gonna be seeing me using a recipe for two cake, but I will cut the recipe in half in the description box in case you're gonna be making one. All right, so I'm just gonna pour all of my juice, set that aside, and then I'm gonna cut my pineapple slices. Because I'm using the bundt cake tin as well, I'm gonna cut some of my slices in half so that it can fit in the bundt cake tin. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do now, and then we're gonna move on to making our mixture. So for the bun cake tin, we're going to set our pineapples that we cut in half. We're going to set them upside down like an upside down C. And we're going to set them in between the grooves so that they can sit perfectly. And then we're going to decorate it with some cherries. And to add my Jamaican touch, I'm going to be adding some white rum and some Jamaican Appleton dark rum. Yeah, it's going to caramelize nicely with the sugar on the top of the pineapple. So if you want to get creative in the kitchen, you can go ahead and try it but you don't necessarily have to. So now I have my maraschino cherries that I'm going to take out. I'm going to take out the amount that I need and I'm going to place them in between the pineapples for decoration. Don't want to really overdo it. So I'm just going to be using two cherries in each groove. So right here everything is completed in the pan so we're going to set this aside and move on to our mixture in this bowl i have six eggs i'm just going to remove the membrane because you know we're jamaican it's the force of habit to remove that white stuff out of the egg and as i said before this is a quick and easy recipe remember if you're making this on mother's day you're going to be busy in the kitchen so you want to want the quickest recipe right so i'm going to be using my yellow cake mix today However, I'm going to leave a recipe in the description box in case someone want to make it from scratch. All right. So now after mixing my eggs, I'm going to go in with two cups of my pineapple juice and I'm going to add two third cups of melted butter and one cup of whole milk. So guys, if you're busy in the kitchen, whether it be Mother's Day or whenever, and you know, baking is also intricate. So if you want to take it the easy way out, this is it guys. And it's also delicious. And we're not using the regular cake mixture. We're adding our milk instead of water and we're adding our butter instead of oil. And yeah, it's going to be delicious guys. And I'm also going to be adding my vanilla pudding if you have watched my rum cake video you know that i don't bake without adding my vanilla pudding or my french vanilla pudding they're both delicious and it makes your cake really soft and moist 
and you don't necessarily have to add it but if you have access to it and you want to add it in there then go ahead you won't regret it trust me so after adding this i am going to add my cake mixture and because i added the two box of vanilla pudding mixture i'm going to use one and three quarter of my yellow cake mixture instead of adding the two box So right here my mixture is completed guys you can see how soft and moist that look already and it's not even baked as yet you can tell from the mixture that this is gonna be a very moist cake all right so if your mixture is drier than this if it's stiff when you're mixing it that means you need to add a little more pineapple juice okay so now I'm just gonna gently add this to my bun cake tin and I forget to tell you guys that before I start this entire process I went ahead and preheated my oven at 350 degrees you don't want to have your mixture sitting on the counter waiting so you want to make sure that your stove is prepped and ready So for my smaller pan, I'm it's the same process except I'm going to add one whole pineapple slice in the bottom of my pan and then I add my half slices around the sides and then add my cherries in between. So this one is for my daughter's friend and I'm going to leave some mixture over to make some cupcakes for my younger daughter because she's not into the pineapple and cherry thing. So what I'm going to do is... For you guys if you you're not gonna be making any cupcakes so you're gonna need a bigger pan for your remaining mixture if you're gonna be making two cake so you can use like a 9 by 13 pan so that you don't have any mixture left over so for the bond cake pan I gave that 45 minutes in the oven and for this small one I gave it 35 minutes you just need to use a toothpick insert it in your cake and once it comes out clean you know that your cake is ready and good to go Alright, so as you can see they are fully baked and they have a beautiful golden brown color. I'm just going to flip it and it this one came out perfect, perfect. They both came out perfect, however I had an accident with the bun cake, one, cake tin when I was flipping it. Yeah, I had an accident with that one. It um, slipped from my hand but it still <laughs> came out good and it's still delicious. I'm going to show you guys in a bit but just look at this how perfect this looks. So when I was flipping this one I had a bit of an accident and this is <laughs> what it looks like. Uh, it break apart. Um, but nevertheless I cut it up and I put it in my put it on my cake stand and everyone is enjoying it right now and I'm gonna cut in it so that you guys can see what it looks like and how moist it is so when you're flipping your cake just be careful make sure you're flipping it on something that is extremely flat so that it doesn't slip from your hand like mine did and look at this guys it is so moist it is very moist and it's delicious my husband took some to work this morning for his friends and yeah 
go ahead and try this recipe and come back and let me know in the comment section because I know you're going to enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed as yet. Stay safe and enjoy your mother's day.